Well, in the spirit of fall, in the spirit of uh, Halloween, we got this new scythe. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we've never had a scythe and we've been talking about buying one. Uh, some people inspired me to do their own hay <laughs> and try it out. So me and Aiden are going to go have fun with the scythe and see if it works and see if we can get it done. We've got to move cows anyway, so might as well have fun with the scythe for a little bit. You know, it's actually doing better than I thought it was going to do. I was hoping to have the one with the handles on it, but I found this one at the store and I said, you know, hey, let's just try it. So I got that down and it cut it pretty good. I mean, there it is. Now this is not much of no good grass. I might can try to give it to the cows. I don't know if they'd eat it. This is an old rye grass grown field that we usually use for hunting. So I was just going to try it out and see if it works. So it is working. So we're going to let Aiden have a few uh, swipes at it. All right, let's see how good he does. Hold it farther up on the on the stick so you're not leaning down when you when you chop. You're a beginner scyther. <laughs> All right, try again, but hold it further up. Yeah, just like that, at more level. See if you can get it more off of it. You're more knocking it down. I think you're just laying it over crazy man let's see if we can get some more done hold on it needs to be sharpened oh no that's doing pretty good though huh. It's not the sharpest. No, it's not the sharpest, but for it to be bought from a little hardware store locally, it's not bad. We're gonna have some fun with this and move the cows over to see if they'll eat some of this uh, stuff we just cut up. Be on this kick to not have to uh, buy so much hay. We've been on this kick to try to cut some. So look, this is our, our hay. <laughs> so we've cut it, so we're gonna go back and try to rake some of it right quick. Give it to the cows too and see if they like it. If they like it, we're going to try to do the same thing. What I did was I took the uh, the bush hog and just almost bared down on it tight. And it kind of would, you know, it doesn't cut it the best, but it cuts it in more of a chunk. So I can rake it up a little bit easier. So we're going to see if they like it. If they like it, then I can invest in something else that's a little bit better than a bush hog. Like a side mower or something like that or a sickle mower. But... As of right now, we'll see if they like this and see if we can get it going good. And if so, that's just that much less hay I have to actually buy this year. So that's that's awesome. See, our strawberries are coming back. They've been resilient. If y'all haven't watched the story, Misty, I uh, neem all these things to death. She used pure concentrate on them, but they're starting to come back. We just gotta keep the weeds away from them so they're not competing. There's one right there that's growing really good. Look at those marigolds, they're almost played out, but they're huge. But you see, they're coming back. So let's get this unloaded, and then we'll go and move the cows. Uh, we, that's our new, our new uh, weed, weed fabric to put down for winter and spring. We're going to try that this year because we had such a problem after the salad tarps. We're going to put that down. See if that helps us with the uh, weeds and not have to do so much weeding and just. Put uh, in the small greenhouse or the big one? Yeah, let's put that in the small greenhouse storage. This too? Yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to put the rest of it too. So let's get this done, Aiden, and then we'll uh, go move the cows. All right, we're gonna get food. This is our little feed closet we keep. It's a little storage, but uh, easiest way to keep food, go to, I went to Walmart and bought these uh, black, just regular old garbage uh, bins. They're only $9, and that's how we store all our food. We keep them in controlled environments so they don't get hot or cold uh, and cause issues with the feed or anything. So that's how we do it. So we, we got 55 gallon drums of, you know, uh, basically alfalfa, uh, dairy pellets, some creep, and then we also have a dog food one down at the bottom. So easy way to store because we buy everything in bulk. Um, that way you don't have it just where rats and things can get into it. So just a quick little note, nothing, nothing special. So let's go ahead and get some feed. Go ahead and get ready to move the cows. 
you can see it is burning up. Uh, it's supposed to be 99 today. It's supposed to be 100 tomorrow. Uh, so it's warm. So we're going to go move the cows and we're going to go mess with the scythe a little bit more and see if we can get some more hay cut and give to the cows. I'm going to move. All right, got the cows moved. It is hot, gosh. And uh, Ike reminded me of Sizzle for a little bit. He got a little crazy, but he went on in. But uh, we're moving their, their water, their little uh, dairy feeder, and then also a, a mineral feeder. Um, I don't know about y'all, but in the summer, when it's hot like this, I either give my cows uh, a mineral block or salt block to lick, especially my dairy cows. Or I give them some just straight minerals. And you know, the thing about the cow, they'll know when they need it and when they don't need it. So it may sit in something. Like I'd put it out, especially when I know it's not gonna rain. And it may sit there a few days, but that's okay. Cause they'll, they'll take it in when they want to. I noticed Elsa, she was just acting, you know, not like anything was wrong, but just not herself the other day. So I just re-put her, I put some minerals in, a, in her bucket. You know, she didn't mess with them that day, but all of a sudden she, they were gone the next day. After that, her milk production was back up. She was back to her normal self. So, you know, they know when they need it and when they don't need it. So, all right, let's get it moved. Aiden's getting the water hooked up. And that way we can go ahead and uh, finish up for the day. All right, you know, in the last video, we talked about the Maypops or the passion fruit we found. Let's see if I can find them again so you can see them. There they go. Flowers quit blooming, so we have to find them again. Here's one right here. See how green they are? Oh gosh, a briar. See that? Look at those. There's two right there. It's amazing they're just growing wild with these blackberry bushes and this thicket so uh, bees are loving this uh, golden rod that's starting to come up and also uh we're gonna have some some passion fruit it looks like so it's always good to have things that grow naturally on the grounds uh, because it makes you feel good because you know that it's really got to be organic you've done nothing to earn it so it's just a blessing they're newly found paddock look how high this grass is look at that This is a wet area that comes through here and it grows like wildfire. They're coming out of that big thick grass right there going to their water. I just filled up their water, but just some great quality grass that they can eat. If you don't know, uh, crab grass, like old jump weed grass, that's one of the healthiest things a cow can eat and cows love it. Uh, it's really heavy in protein. So we're going to fill their water up. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. It wasn't much, but just uh we're gonna go have some more fun with the scythe and uh we might video a little bit more of it can you say hey if you want to run by me they get so excited i wish i could have filmed uh ike a while ago when he came in he like ran around he did like a like a circle around the, the whole edge of the, the paddock <laughs> so he was excited to get the new grass they always are so we keep them in our paddocks until they eat it all and they're so excited to move to the next one but you see they're not poor at all they're looking great they're next to their buddies over there, compadres, and they quit bellowing and they keep bellowing to each other. So we're going to end this video, go mess with the scythe a little bit more, have a little bit more fun, and uh, call it a day. Happy homesteading, y'all.